Welcome to Bedtime Astronomy. Explore the wonders of the cosmos with our soothing Bedtime Astronomy podcast. Each episode offers a gentle journey through the stars, planets, and beyond, perfect for unwinding after a long day. Let's travel through the mysteries of the universe as you drift off into a peaceful slumber under the night sky. Antimatter, unlocking the universe's dark mirror. Antimatter, the mirror image of ordinary matter, is one of the most fascinating and enigmatic subjects in modern physics and cosmology. First predicted by the British physicist Paul Dirac in 1928, antimatter is composed of antiparticles, which have the same mass as their corresponding matter particles but opposite charges. For example, the antiparticle of an electron, called a positron, has the same mass as an electron but a positive charge. When a particle of matter meets its corresponding antiparticle, they annihilate each other in a burst of energy, usually in the form of gamma rays. This process is governed by the famous equation E equals mc squared, where energy is released from the annihilation of matter and antimatter. The existence of antimatter poses one of the greatest puzzles in cosmology, the matter-antimatter asymmetry problem. According to the standard model of cosmology, the Big Bang should have produced equal amounts of matter and antimatter. However, the universe as we observe it today is composed almost entirely of matter, with very little antimatter to be found. This imbalance between matter and antimatter is one of the central mysteries in our understanding of the cosmos. The history of antimatter in the universe begins with the Big Bang, which occurred around 13.8 billion years ago. In the moments following the Big Bang, the universe was in a state of extremely high energy, where particles and antiparticles were continuously created and annihilated. As the universe expanded and cooled, the energy levels dropped and the creation of particles and antiparticles slowed. According to our current understanding, a tiny asymmetry in the laws of physics costs slightly more matter than antimatter to be produced. This slight excess of matter over antimatter, by perhaps one part in a billion, led to the matter-dominated universe we observe today. However, the precise mechanism behind this asymmetry is still unknown and is a major area of research in theoretical and experimental physics. One possible explanation for the matter-antimatter asymmetry involves a concept known as CP violation. CP symmetry is the combination of charge conjugation, C, which transforms particles into their antiparticles, and parity, P, which inverts the spatial coordinates. If CP symmetry were perfect, then the laws of physics would be identical for particles and antiparticles, and we would expect to see equal amounts of matter and antimatter. However, Experiments have shown that CP symmetry is violated in certain weak interactions, meaning that these processes do not behave the same way for particles and antiparticles. This CP violation could potentially explain the matter-antimatter asymmetry, but the observed amount of CP violation in known processes is not sufficient to account for the entire asymmetry. This suggests that there may be other sources of CP violation or new physics beyond the standard model that could provide the missing explanation. The search for antimatter in the universe is ongoing, with scientists looking for signs of antimatter in cosmic rays, as well as in distant galaxies and galaxy clusters. If large amounts of antimatter existed somewhere in the universe, we would expect to see evidence of matter-antimatter annihilation at the boundaries between matter and antimatter regions, 
producing characteristic gamma ray signatures. However, no such evidence has been found, leading to the conclusion that our observable universe is overwhelmingly composed of matter. Antimatter is also produced naturally in certain astrophysical processes. For example, positrons are created in the decay of radioactive elements in supernovae and in the interactions of cosmic rays with the interstellar medium. Additionally, some astronomical phenomena, such as pulsars and black holes, are believed to produce antimatter in their extreme environments. The detection of these antimatter particles, usually in the form of positrons, provides valuable insights into the processes occurring in these distant astrophysical objects. In addition to its role in cosmology and astrophysics, antimatter has practical applications in medicine and technology. Positron Emission Tomography PET, is a medical imaging technique that uses positrons to detect cancer and other diseases in the human body. In this technique, a small amount of a radioactive substance that emits positrons is injected into the body. The positrons annihilate with electrons in the body, producing gamma rays that are detected by the PET scanner, allowing doctors to create detailed images of the body's internal structures. Antimatter is also being explored as a potential energy source for future space travel. The annihilation of matter and antimatter releases enormous amounts of energy, far more than conventional chemical reactions. If we could find a way to produce and store antimatter efficiently, it could provide a highly efficient propulsion system for spacecraft allowing us to travel to distant planets and even other star systems. However, the production of antimatter is currently extremely difficult and expensive, and storing antimatter safely presents significant technical challenges, as it would annihilate with any matter it came into contact with. In particle physics, Antimatter is used in high-energy experiments to probe the fundamental properties of matter. Particle accelerators, such as the Large Hadron Collider LHC, at CERN, produce and study antiparticles to understand their behavior and interactions. These experiments have led to numerous discoveries, including the confirmation of the existence of the Higgs boson a particle that gives mass to other particles. The study of antimatter in these experiments helps physicists test the predictions of the standard model and search for new physics beyond what is currently known. One of the most intriguing aspects of antimatter is its potential role in the early universe and the evolution of cosmic structures. Theorists have proposed that regions of antimatter could have existed in the early universe, separated from matter regions by vast voids. In such a scenario, these antimatter regions would have eventually collapsed under their own gravity, forming antimatter galaxies, stars, and planets. However, as these antimatter regions came into contact with matter, they would have produced intense bursts of radiation, leading to their eventual annihilation. The absence of such radiation today suggests that if antimatter regions did exist, they must have been extremely rare or short-lived. Despite the challenges and mysteries surrounding antimatter, its study continues to be a fertile ground for scientific exploration. Theoretical physicists are constantly developing new models and ideas to explain the matter-antimatter asymmetry and the role of antimatter in the universe. At the same time, experimental physicists are searching for antimatter in cosmic rays, in the remnants of supernovae, and in the radiation from distant astrophysical objects. 
As our understanding of antimatter grows, so too does our appreciation for the fundamental symmetries and asymmetries that govern the universe. The existence of antimatter challenges our notions of reality and forces us to reconsider the nature of the cosmos. It is a reminder that the universe is far more complex and mysterious than we can imagine, and that there is still much to learn about the forces that shape our existence. Antimatter also holds the promise of transformative technologies and new frontiers in space exploration. While practical applications of antimatter are still in their infancy, the potential for its use in medicine, energy production, and space travel is immense. As we continue to explore the properties and behavior of antimatter, we may one day unlock its full potential and harness its power for the benefit of humanity. In conclusion, Antimatter is a cornerstone of modern physics and cosmology, offering insights into the fundamental nature of the universe and the forces that govern it. The study of antimatter has led to profound discoveries about the origins of the universe, the behavior of particles, and the symmetries of the laws of physics. While many mysteries remain, the ongoing exploration of antimatter promises to deepen our understanding of the cosmos and open new doors to scientific and technological advancements. As we continue to unravel the secrets of antimatter, we are reminded of the boundless curiosity and ingenuity that drives human inquiry, pushing us ever closer to the ultimate questions of our existence.